you imagine? By the way, if anybody wants to share this with any news outlet, do it. Share it. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. For Fox 13 News at 9, I'm Amy Nay. And we begin tonight with news of Tim Ballard. He's the founder of Operation Underground Railroad, now breaking his silence after being condemned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We're here downtown just across from the church office buildings. Ballard says he believes a statement issued by the church didn't actually come from the church, calling his behavior morally unacceptable. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz is in studio with more on tonight's update. Well, Amy, this video was sent to us by someone touring with Tim Ballard this weekend in Boston. Watch and listen for yourself as he gives a speech about his relationship with a powerful LDS leader who the church says felt betrayed by Ballard's actions. This is breaking up my family like you can't believe. At times, he was passionate, shouting at the camera. At times, he lowered his voice and teared up. My wife. Tim Ballard, the founder of Operation Underground Railroad, publicly defending himself for the first time from his own church. I'm the bad guy in the story. I'm the bad guy. On Friday, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints released a statement to Fox 13 and other media calling Tim Ballard's behavior morally unacceptable. The statement was in response to documents obtained by Vice News detailing a criminal investigation into Tim Ballard and his nonprofit. The church says Tim Ballard betrayed his friendship with M. Russell Ballard, acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve. I have never used Elder Brother's name, ever. I've never traded on his name to ask for anything. I've never had any business dealings with him. He's like, he's like a grandfather to me. He says President Ballard went on this same tour with him in Boston. They share the same last name, but they're not related. I don't believe the church did this. I, I truly don't. Can you imagine that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Would publicly condemn one of its members? Apparently the answer is, yeah, they would. The church's statement was sent by Doug Anderson from his official church email address. According to his LinkedIn profile, Anderson has been the director of media relations for the church for nearly 15 years. I pray to God the church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints wasn't part of this. I, I don't know yet, I don't know. Ballard also questions the timing. Ever since Mitt Romney announced he would be giving up his seat on the U.S. Senate, rumors have been circulating about a Ballard run for Congress. It was leaked to the press that I was going to run for U.S. Senate. The rumors started with a tweet from Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes saying he would be endorsing a patriot warrior for the seat. It's no secret the two are close friends and have promoted OUR together. My state president knew nothing about it. My bishop knew nothing about it. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints wants to condemn me publicly before the world. In the moment that I'm trending, and, and please don't take this the wrong way, but The Sound of Freedom is the number one movie in, the, in Latin America. It's the number one movie. If you'd like to see the full 10 minute, 10 second video of Tim Ballard addressing the church's condemnation, it is on the front page of our website, fox13now.com. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.